From the Big D to the Big Thicket, there's a land of beautiful prairies and rich woodlands, interwoven with groves of timber, stately pines, ferns, lilies, orchids, dogwood, and Texas pride. Plants are basic to human welfare and well-being. Plants are life givers, guardians of the environment, the spice of life. They feed us, cure our ills, and enrich our lives. East Texas is home to about 3,200 species, or two-thirds of all the plants known to occur in Texas, and roughly one-sixth of all the species in North America. All the plants of the Piney Woods, Blackland Prairie, and Post Oak Savannah will be covered in the illustrated flora of East Texas. The 87-county area that defines East Texas is a region of 60,000 square miles, an area roughly the size of the state of Georgia. The illustrated flora of East Texas will be the most comprehensive scientific guide to the native and naturalized vascular plants found in East Texas. It integrates diverse aspects of modern plant biology, presenting them in a way that will contribute to a broader understanding of the natural history of the region. East Texas is renowned for its botanical resources, and yet there is no up-to-date, easy-to-use source of information on the some 3,200 species of plants living there. No serious scientific effort has ever been made to document and interpret the rich botanical heritage of the region. As the illustrated flora of North Central Texas serves so many people, so will the East Texas flora serve. It'll be a valuable asset to teachers, students, wildlife biologists, environmental consultants, wildflower enthusiasts, and many others seeking to better understand the natural world around them. It is widely recognized that the Earth's biodiversity is poorly known, and East Texas is no exception. Despite nearly two centuries of exploration throughout Texas, there is still much to learn about the diversity of life in the Lone Star State. The challenge is great, and to document the rich plant life of Texas is an awesome mission. The preservation of species is of special significance. East Texas is home to some 35 species listed as endangered or as species of concern. There are many conservation needs throughout East Texas, particularly in the Piney Woods region, which has been severely overcut, burned, and replanted many times since the early 1900s. Our research objectives are to discover, describe, and inventory species diversity, to analyze and synthesize this information in a way that reflects the history of life, and to organize it in an efficiently retrievable form that best meets the needs of science and society. One of the collaborating institutions is the Botanical Research Institute of Texas, located in Fort Worth. It's a nonprofit education and research organization dedicated to the conservation of our natural heritage for future generations. Austin College, located in Sherman, Texas, is collaborating on the project through its Center for Environmental Studies. Authors and support staff include George Diggs, Barney Lipscomb, Robert O'Kennan, and Monique Reed, along with other staff and students of these two institutions. Writing the floor involves a number of time-intensive activities, such as organizing bibliographic information and performing literature searches, visiting local herbaria, gathering environmental data, locating illustrations and photographs, writing keys and descriptions, and synthesizing all of this information into the book. Preparation of the illustrated flora of East Texas began in 1999. The first volume will include all introductory material, and will cover all monocots, ferns, and gymnosperms. <laughs>